Hi guys, today we're here again with Zach Uwak and today, and as I said, in in our first videos we're gonna be we're gonna be working a lot with games. As you may know, there were millions of games in the computer history. There are different types of games like like sports, simulators, puzzles, racing, strategy, uh, and a lot of other different games. So computer games today, uh, and way back to like maybe five years ago or ten years ago, they're way different from today's games. So if you ask your parents or other adults what was their favorite computer game when they were young, you would be surprised. I'm sure you wouldn't have even heard of that game. But why should we guess? Let's do that and see. So Dad, what was your favorite computer game when you were young? So I think you've never played these games, but if you ever want to try these old styled games, then you can search them up on these websites or just search them up on Google. But before computer games were invented, their favorite game was Tetris. Have you ever heard about it? They told me it was a really addictive game. So all of these games were really popular and millions of people loved them. As you can see, the computer game industry is growing very quickly. But believe me, the main concepts of a good game always stay the same. What makes a game cool? What is the recipe? I will give you some ingredients and advices that will help you build a good game. So let's start. The first thing is a character. When you're trying to make a game, think about the characters. Think about how they look. Think about their habits. Think about what they love. Think about what they don't like. For example, if your character is a dog, it might be pretty and funny like this one. Or it might be strong and serious like my dog. And advice. It doesn't matter how much you like computers or computer games. Never stop reading books. Books are the best source to get knowledge. It helps you to improve your imagination too. So the better your imagination, you'll have better characters and, and, better, and better games. So... That's a chance for, more, for a lot of gamers around the world to like it. The next thing is mechanics. Actually, game mechan mechanics are a little complex, are a little complex list of rules, like, like your character's movement or the interaction with other characters or the other objects in your game, such as running, jumping, flying, and using different tools or weapons. 
and you have to explain it to every gamer that is going to play your game. The next components are objects. Literally all games have objects, like stars and coins that you have to collect, or keys that you need to open the door, or balloons that you need to pop. The next component is goal or goals. In any real game, you need to have a goal. For example, in basketball, you need to shoot the ball in the net. Or in soccer, you have to shoot the ball in the net. The next thing is the difficulty of a level. What makes a game pretty boring is if it's too easy or if it's too hard. Re Mostly in games, people make it be easy in the beginning, and as the player learns how to play the game better and better, it gets harder and harder. Controls. A game is more fun when a player feels like he is in full control of a character. So the controls sh should be easy and native. So if you think how to make your character to move around, you would probably choose the arrow keys. The next important component is telling stories. It's always better to have a kind of story behind the game. So if you're planning, so if you're having a game about a spaceship that's trying to avoid meteorites and that will, that can crush the spaceship then you want to have a story behind it like it's trying to help pe rescue people that are on Mars that are waiting for help or how ha that have a mi or the spaceship has a mission to go to to another galaxy so try to imagine or create and tell the story before you create the game and by the way the more books you read the better storyteller you'll be. So read more and more books every day. Sound. Sound plays a very important role in computer games since it's one of our five senses. Just saying, I just lost my tooth, so I don't think I'm weird that I'm talking like this. So in my next video, I'll, I'll tell you how to use all those recipes for in, in real scratch projects. So smash that like button if you like the video and subscribe to my ch and hit that subscribe button to subscribe to my channel. And of course, please write comments so my videos get better. Bye, see you later.